Good morning. Okay. Um, today is an early day, but I have stuff to do. So, I'm going to be getting into the gym a little bit later than normal. So, since that's happening, I have some messages. Um... Um, I was doing the dishes earlier, my dishes that I have, um, when I take in my fruit in here at night so I can have, um, my little, uh, fruit snacks, basically, um, my cantaloupe and, uh, grapes and everything, uh, yeah, so, uh, I was washing dishes and then it's just, things just start talking, like, projection, DC trying to swap energies of what they're dealing with onto somebody else okay so i'm like really really because i know that i've dealt with something like this before but i'm like wait for real okay let me pull these damn cards because i want to see what comes out now because i'm kind of curious because i'm like yo like uh for instance okay this is how you can tell this is why you're supposed to pay attention to a lot of the things that uh you end up doing okay in your daily life and everything you're supposed to pay attention anyway but get this okay so in the past remember jason derulo uh wiggle wiggle when that song came out i couldn't stand it i never once sung that song never once but yet and still somebody said that i was singing it around the house to the kids but i couldn't stand the song when it first came out it wasn't until maybe two years later maybe i may have started getting into it and that was because of the little kitty cat meme that my friend sent me um with the cat wiggling his booty and i was like oh my god like i seen that crap online like it's so cute but for her to send it to me and say it looks like isabella i'm like a damn sure do it looks just like my kitty cat out there and then I'm just like, on top of it looking like Isabella, you know, it was wiggling and, you know, it was just on some, you know, really awesome stuff. Like, seriously. Hold on. I have to open the door. Uh, hold on. They're back. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I had to let them uh, borrow the truck earlier to go out and uh, run a couple errands and everything. So. Andre went to work and the other two came back. So let's get the shop willing and let's get the talking on this situation. Because when I was, I'm like, that's bull crap because I never want something that. Like, I couldn't stand the hell out of that song. But, you know, you can't argue with people that are trying to literally tell you shit without telling you shit. So you, all you can do is just sit back and let people, you know, tell on themselves, basically. So, um, yeah. My thing is shaky, shaky, not wiggle, wiggle. So, uh, yeah, you have to know yourself in order to, you know, trust your intuition, okay? Um, so, that's a, that's a little key example of projection, you know? Um, gaslighting, you know? Um, well, that's not really uh, gaslighting, that's like projection, but in a way it, is, it turns itself into gaslighting because it's basically saying that you did something that you know you didn't do, or saying something that you know you didn't say, and stuff like that. Um, things happen like that within companies, you know, major big companies as well, and you know, it happens throughout daily life, you know, but people, some of them, they don't want to learn, um, they have too much pride. And that's the downfall of people. That's the downfall of society. Too much pride, you know? Um, in order to manipulate and control, in order not to, you know, feel like shit. Like shit. And like, hurt people hurt people. But uh, why would you want to put somebody through the same shit that uh, you went through? That's what I would want to know. Wouldn't you help build up that person? Like, for instance, unconditional love. Like, uh, I remember, you know, what I was talking about in the past and everything before I could really speak up about it or anything. 
And then when I started talking about it again, then I came across something that was like, yeah, unconditional, with, 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 uh, you know, people talking about it in a certain sort of way. No, don't get it confused with being stupid. Unconditional love, that's what we're made of. That's what we are. Don't get it confused with being stupid. You're not to be walked on. You're not to be stepped on. And you're not to be a people pleaser, which means you are to speak your mind. That's unconditional love because unconditional love is having enough love for yourself in order not to, in order not to deal with bullshit because you know what you'll tolerate for yourself. And would you expect other people to tolerate for you and themselves as well? Okay? It's not bending will. It's not basically forcing, you know, your opinions and, like, the whole thing of, you know, let's agree to disagree. And it's just, like, I love that term because uh, what a friend of mine, she used to use this all the time. Let's, yeah, you know, let's just agree to disagree. And I would hear her talking about, you know, situations and stuff. And I'm like, I love that. <laughs> but, uh yeah so you know people they um they will sit here in their pride and ego okay and they will destroy themselves over it repeatedly time and time again time at the time and you know not care because they don't see it uh people are blinded to the fact of how they are because the thing is they can dish it out but they can't take what they give that's the thing if you can dish it out you better damn sure be able to take that fucking shit your damn self because if you can't, you're gonna fuck it. Mm -mm. You're gonna have a hard time. Okay. What do we have here? Ooh. Two of Cups in the upright and Temperance in the reverse. Okay. Um, let me see what time it is because I know I have to get out of here soon. So we're not gonna make this too long. Okay, I've still got time. Oh, okay, so we have the two of cups in the upright and we have the temperance in the reverse. Okay, so there was um, some sort of uh, partnership, some sort of offering, okay, that was uh, not really being uh, focused on. Um, it was being rushed. It felt like somebody didn't take their time in a situation that they had in front of them, okay, that they were in um in this partnership um unless it's clarified later on by another card this could go for anything anything can be a partnership as in jobs you know careers businesses all the same ordeals you know um just different positions in them um this could also be a family this could be uh friendship this could be relationship this is just a straight partnership of some sort okay Four of Wands in the upright. Okay. Um, yeah, this. This was supposed to happen. This was supposed to happen. With the Four of Wands in the upright along with this. This was, this is a situation that was supposed to happen. Um whether it was to happen and it's like you get to a place and then you, you know you get to a certain point and then you realize this isn't what it was all cracked up to be this isn't what you wanted or something i don't clarify this clarify the four Okay, this was supposed to happen. Somebody's eyes are big, filled with um, greed. They walked into a situation and lost everything. Okay, uh, seven of cups in the upright. That means uh, you know you're seeing something, but it's just out of reach. So you seen something, you try to go for it, you didn't take your time and within moving in situations and you ended up forfeiting you ended up losing gifts okay 
um, somebody is stuck in the five of cups that came out crossing over the gifts so somebody is stuck they know that they know they know they lost um they lost a lot um the head is hanging down somebody could be feeling bad could be feeling uh regret you're not supposed to regret anything regret that shit will keep you coming back here you know and that steady energy so you better just learn your damn lesson and stop regretting shit <laughs> don't regret a damn thing you do learn your lesson that's what you're supposed to do that's what life is for and this is the page of wands energy okay so somebody was moving in and out in situations okay um manipulating situations um this could be you know just their their whole vibe is like this sexual vibe maybe they manipulated situations with um with certain persuasions or they thought they could you know and it didn't it didn't work out for them okay and then over here we have a situation with um fulfillment okay they fell on the floor so unless we get a bridge that bridge these two things together they're two separate energies because i mean yeah they're two separate energies i don't feel them connecting um oh okay so this was fulfillment for somebody the above situation as above so below misery loves company five of swords crossing over fulfillment somebody wanted this to happen hurt people hurt people somebody tried to slow down or stop somebody um and they succeeded in it it looks like because we have the Ten of Cups in the outright, and then it was crossed over with, um, you know, Ten of Cups in the outright. And it was crossed over by the Five of Swords, you know. Always cutting off people, um, always attacking others, you know. This is a wounded warrior, somebody that can't move on because, you know, they got hurt too many times. And um, they started putting everybody around them down, okay. Now see, that's not the same as this over here, but this is somebody who, who how, this is their energy. What's going on? resolution we need a resolution somebody thinks they need a resolution but see this energy over here it was trying to put a depth to a situation with the four swords crossing over this whole fulfillment like this person is truly fucking hurt and they want people to feel just like how they feel or felt this is their joy this is exactly what it is Somebody likes watching people get hurt. This is a lover situation. Somebody was dealing with the Empress. The Empress is in the upright. Lover situation in the upright. In the upright. So yeah, somebody was dealing um, with an Empress. Okay, Empress is not in reverse. Okay. But um, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Eight of Wands in the upright. And we have the World in Reverse. Yeah. Somebody was working. They. This situation right here. Somebody was not working well with this, um, with this whole lover situation up here. So this is a lover situation. That's right here okay 
we do have like i said this is um this could clarify the whole thing and then too this could be like a couple different situations but right now we're going to focus on the lover situation lovers and the empress somebody was working hard against this empress trying to cause conflict with the eight of wands okay um with the eight of pentacles in reverse 88 could be significant for somebody eight is a karmic number you know that's a cycle that basically is infinity that goes around and around and around okay somebody wanted somebody to be trapped into a karmic cycle somebody was working hard towards this uh throwing attacks okay um trying to cause endings major endings with the world in reverse okay It's a pentacles in reverse. It's in reverse. It's like diagonal. So I count this as like not really. It's crossing, but it's also pointing towards more towards the reverse. Somebody went wanted this empress to lose um, blessings, gifts, um, guidance, creativity. Okay. Something else to clarify this situation, please. Anything else? Anything else to clarify the situation? Can you tell me who is what type of energy was coming after after the situation? What kind of energies? Page of Pentacles. Somebody with uh, false offerings. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody that really didn't intend to really create, co-create, or, you know, give or, you know, give anything to a situation. Okay? They were coming in as, like, a page, you know? Acting like they, uh, was, you know, helping and all this other stuff. But they really wasn't. They were tactics in order to, to take. Because you see that the foot is, like, kind of pulled back like they're about to run off with something. Trying to get info and run away with it. And that could be this energy right here that was trying to put death to a situation. Oh shit, we got a narcissist. Emperor in reverse. Yeah. Somebody was trying to put endings to um, the emperor and the empress. Okay, the emperor was in the reverse. So this is possibly how this emperor um, carries themselves, okay? I'm not going to assume anything, but basically, let's just, just talk about how it's in reverse right now. So basically, um, yeah, this wouldn't have happened if the emperor was in the upright at all. Um, See, when you're in your lower nature, when you're acting out of uh, a lower frequency, that's when you're vulnerable. That's when you're able to be deceived because you're in that, you know, it's more of, um, my phone is ringing. You're in that energy of, you know, just, um, you know, out for self. Okay. Whatever makes you happy no matter what it causes around you to malfunction dysfunction dysfunction um this is the energy you operate in because it's what you're used to okay um so i'm just gonna leave it there because i know that i was pressed for time but i wanted to get this out before you know i started my day and actually got tangled up with a lot of other energies and shit because i know that's when i get a lot more stuff on the table 
So, um, yeah, that's going to be the reading for today. So somebody is dealing with a situation and somebody was trying to attack um, a partnership of a lover situation, okay? And these are counterparts, the emperor and the empress. You know, this could these could be parents, these could be a mother and father figure. Somebody's operate the emperor is in the neck is in the lower nature, has been carrying himself in the lower nature. Um, you know, kinda in and out sexually and everything else like that. Um, trying to manipulate situations within this partnership. And then somebody, you know, that was in a page of pentacles had false offerings, okay? And they were the ones who helped bring it into this whole situation. Don't look at anything as, you know, uh, bad or don't look at the situation as bad or good. Look at it for what it is because, see, this empress was dealing with the emperor in the reverse. They were in situations. Okay? And being as though they were counterparts, somebody didn't see something or somebody was choosing to ignore something until they actually seen the trueness of a person's true colors the realness of a person's true colors and how horrible and nasty somebody could actually be where towards it was like oh it's not just you know this is how you are but this is how you feel about this where towards you're working against to throw attacks to end this whole you know to end this whole thing because you know the emperor is in the reverse which means he was part of the situation too he she whatever but the emperor is normally a, a father figure okay um so this is the situation and um i will read some more later on today but right now i'm busy and I'm about to get up out of here. So, have a good day. And, I mean, I hope this helps. Like I said, we are made of love. And that's what we are. And that's what we do throughout everything. Now, people get us confused. Don't confuse love with like. You can love somebody and not like them. Okay? That doesn't mean you have to do it for a person. People can mistake in love as in, you know, getting it in, doing the deed, and everything else like that. Where it's just total bullshit. Because, how does that make sense? Because make it make sense that's just an expression that comes with being a partnership that is full of love and connection but that's not what it is do you get what i'm saying like you have to be careful with who you connect with you swap energies not swap but you exchange you know you share energies with each other when you come in contact okay on a daily basis especially and then when you're actually intimate and you really ex exchange those energies within that type of connection, yeah, um, you're taking on characteristics, aspects, and personality traits, everything of the other person. And then you wonder why people start switching up and everything else like that. That's why your energies, they intermingle with each other. And you can really see it and you can tell this is how you can tell when um, people are, you know, really, how do you think you can tell when people are not, you know, really into the whole entire situation that you created? Because they start acting like the person or persons that they are intermingling with, if you get what I'm saying. See, there are some people that will sit there and, you know, there's no bad harm foul or whatever going on like everything's open everything's connected everything is being you know talked about and perceived and everything else i gotta go um but at the same time you know not everybody has your best interest at heart so if you get two people that are on the same vibe high vibe and then somebody deals with somebody on a lower frequency you're going to be able to tell the change within that person just like when you have two low vibing people and then somebody starts dealing with somebody on a higher frequency, okay? You're going to be able to tell because all of a sudden that person, their actions and everything else that you're used to being in a negative state is not going to be in there no more. Um, you can tell when a person's not being 
with anybody but self because now that person comes into their whole their wholeness okay and that's what they start to exude more so than the traits of the people person that they have been with before it's called cleansing yourself it's um very beneficial to actually do that's why you're not supposed to hop from one to the other without a break in between without healing from the past relationships from the past partnerships from the past ordeals that you have been through you have to learn or else you just built up that stuff within your vessel and then you're going to exude it out and then you're going to pass it off to other people okay and i'm like yeah this energy stuff is just like having a physical you know illness or something you can pass that shit off energetic wise and that's the worst because then that's when people start to lose themselves and not in a good way like where you're oh yeah i'm feeling the music no you start to really lose yourself and the person that you are that you love like uh what i said the other day when i was dancing right uh to the singing and dancing to the 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 little puppy i never when that song came out i never had a reason to sing that song never nobody never 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 had anybody sing that to and i wasn't singing it to myself because i wasn't happy with myself but this was the first time I actually heard that song in um, a nice few years, right? And I was actually feeling it. And I have just felt so fucking bliss and blissful and in love with myself. So much that I felt that fucking song and it felt beautiful. So, Just, uh, you have to know yourself to know who you are, where you stand, and that's just about it. So, I'm going to get up out of here because I'm already, you know, putting myself behind, so, bye, I hope this helped.